Hey, welcome back to my channel. I am almost at 100 subscribers, which is unbelievable to me because I feel like I wanna be putting out so much more content, but I just am crunched on time. Uh, today, I took the day off of work. This is like my big day to try to do uh, probably like way more uh, things than I actually have time for, so I need to make the most out of it. And one of those things was shooting another video like this. Uh, I'm gonna, I got new monitors, so I'm actually gonna set those monitors up, give them, give them a test run, and that's probably why you clicked on this video, possibly because you're interested in those monitors. Um, but beyond that, I'm gonna try to set up like a camera so I can start doing like uh, recording my screen and like making beats and, and just have it set up so that it's not this whole process. I think that's the thing, you know, you shoot these videos, you gotta set the camera up, you gotta do the lights, but I wanna really spend today trying to get that set up so that I can do some beat making videos for you because uh, I wanna do those and it just something about it just seems like cumbersome. Uh, so I haven't done many, but I watch so many other people's videos and I learned so many things from them and I think I have some things to share with you guys, especially I've been using Studio One a lot. And yeah, I wanna show those things. So thanks for tuning in today. Let's um, open these monitors, get them hooked up and see what I think. Right now I have uh, the KRK uh, Rocket 8s and I have had these monitors I was trying to guess, there's probably a manufacturer date on them, but I'm pretty sure they're from 2005. And yeah, we're in 2018 right now, so they've been kicking for a while. I added this subwoofer uh, probably just a few years ago, and that, I have to say, really changed the sound, I like that. Um, so yeah, I decided to upgrade my monitors. I stuck with the KRK because I really do like them. Uh, I went for the their fancier ones. So the, the V series, I guess is what it's called. I got the eights again. Um, I was gonna try to get the sixes, but they were back ordered. So I just said, you know, I'll get the eights. Um, but I got a foot switch. It hasn't come in yet. I got a foot switch for my sub so that I can like turn my sub on and off. And um, yeah, so I should, what I'm expecting is getting a much better, uh, like really clear, um, true sound is what I hear that these monitors provide. Um, I think they were like $7.99 a piece. Uh, they, you know, which is pretty expensive because if you're looking at these KRK, um, Rockets, I think they're only like $2.49 a piece nowadays. I think when I bought them in 2005, they were $2.99, so I'm not sure why the price went down. But yes, so let's give them a whirl, let's get them hooked up, and I'm just gonna sort of tell you like what my thoughts are in transitioning from these these monitors, which are you know significantly less to higher end monitors in case anybody out there is considering it, or considering the V8 since I did not see many videos out there on them when I was looking, which was disappointing. So, I'm actually gonna put this down and I'll pull it up. These things are freaking heavy. I mean, they're big speakers. So, no surprise they're heavy. All right, bottom here, got my cable. And got some directions. See what we got in here. Ooh. All right, this, it feels like an upgrade. It, it definitely feels like an upgrade looking at these. Um, you know, they just have like a nicer build, like this is all metal. Uh, so that's nice. Let's see. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're, well, that might be plastic, but you're getting some more metal versus the other one. So uh, yeah, let's get this plugged in. I wonder if it's bad if I use like the same power cord. Cause I sort of want to be lazy and this is like a standard power cord, right? Yeah, I mean, it shouldn't make a difference. So this way, like I feel like I can just pop this one off and then I can pop this one on and life becomes a lot easier. Oh, I feel like these are heavier. 
or bigger or something. I gotta hope my kids don't knock these over. Or I don't knock them over. See, that's a weird thing. I had, I'll show you the back of, I'll show you the back of my old KRK's. case. And you can see that there's these knobs here, you know, so I had, the control was right on the knob. Now, I don't know if this is what the rockets still look like, because again, th this is from like 2005. So, but now missing this and just having dip switches, I'm not sure how I feel about that. How, e you know, how easy it is to control. So let's check that out. I'm gonna plug the other one in and see what we got. All right, I just plugged them in and they sound like crap. Um, so I need to figure out what I need to do to, um, yeah, like change maybe some of the dip switches on back. Um, Cause I'm not hearing my sub really and they just sound horrible. I had to make some uh, adjustments to the settings, so like the dip switches, which is what I thought. I pulled up the manual and it's weird getting new monitors. Like I've had the same monitors for so long. So I'm just digesting the sound. I think I'm gonna need to like mix on them for a little bit. Like, you know, make a few beats. What I do feel is like there's definitely more clarity. I think it'll help me mix with more like precision. Like I, there seems to be like a, just a clarity that wasn't there with the Rocket Eats, and I mean, I think that's what you're paying for when you get higher end monitors. But it's it's interesting. It's hard to articulate because I think um, you know when we think about consumer electronics and consumer speakers, we really like the sound to be colored, right? Because when it's colored, it's just more vibey. It's got this feeling, and you know you have monitors that you want to mix on. And you don't want it colored because you want to have this precise uh, you know idea of what it sounds like so that it will sound good on any system um, so this is interesting though it's interesting I'm gonna I'm gonna mix a beat today and maybe um, come back to this video and uh, add more of my thoughts after after making a beat on them but it definitely feels like an upgrade. I can tell you that right now. It does feel like an upgrade. All right, so I've been mixing a remix um, on on these new monitors, and I love them. Uh, you know, just going through mixing down a song, th there's just such clarity. Like I was just changing a clap, for example, in this remix, and I was like, you know, I just this this isn't the right clap. I I want to find a different clap, and I I was running through different claps, and it was just like, oh my god, I was like this. These, these monitors are so much freaking better. Um, so I'm looking forward to, to, to using them more. Uh, I, I think I made a great decision by deciding to upgrade the monitors. Uh, yeah, I'm psyched with them. I'm really psyched. Uh, I'm waiting for the foot switch for my sub because like I said, I wanna be able to just turn my sub off and on and the KRK subs have a foot switch feature on them. So I just gotta plug that in there and I'll be able to just really easily like if I'm mixing something, um, I like to, you know, as I'm making the mix, making the beats, I like to have the sub on because I just, you know, you're vibing, you want to feel the sub. But, you know, when it's time to really mix down the song and get into uh, doing your levels and making sure everything sounds right, you don't necessarily want to be, you know, pounded on that sub. Uh, I think I'm going to grab those, the Avatone speakers that just came out, and I forget what they're called, but... Um, they're basically like the remake of the Yamaha NS10. Uh, so uh, look for a video for those. Those aren't, they actually aren't out yet, but I think I'm gonna pre-order them from Sweetwater. Uh, and I'll have links below for all of the equipment that I've talked about today. I'll have links below for these monitors. Um, and yeah, so if you're wondering what the heck I'm talking about, what I'm using, you can go down below in the description, you can check it out. But yeah, I'm digging this. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll play a little bit of this this remix. Uh, I think I've changed it up a bit. I hope it doesn't get flagged on YouTube. But um, yeah, so I'll I'll end with that, and I'll see you on the next video where hopefully I will finally be behind the computer making beats and bringing you with me.